Performing an inventory count. Periodically, you will need to count inventory and adjust quantities. In all orders, this is done with the count screen. To create a new count, click on the menu Warehouse and New Quantity Count, or from the home screen, select Count. After selecting the location, the quantities for all the items within that location as of the count date will appear. The following should be kept in mind regarding counts. Counts are location specific. If you have more than one location, you will need to create a count for each location. You can only have one count per location open at a time. A count is open if it has not been finalized. Go to the menu List and Counts to determine if you have any open counts for your location. If you have an open count that has not been used, delete it from the count list, then open up a new count. When starting a new count, make sure that you have the most current date open or assign the count date. You cannot change the location or the count date once the count has been saved. You will need to add an account. This is usually a cost of goods sold type account. Print a count worksheet to view your items on a report before or during the count. Print the count report after it has been finalized. Next, completing the count is straightforward. There is one row for each item, bin, and lot and serial number. For each row, enter the new quantity, press tab, and the difference will be calculated. If an item, bin, or lot and serial number combination is not on the count, click Activities, then Add Item. The added item will appear at the bottom of the list. Leaving the new quantity blank means the item has not been counted. To avoid any mistakes, you may enter the same new quantity as the current quantity, although it is not necessary. If you are using a barcode, you can scan or type and tab the items, bin, and if applicable, the lot or serial number. By default, All Orders expects the first scan to be the item, although you can change this by toggling the Scan By options. The Filter tab allows you to shorten the number of items shown on the grid and filter by bins. Show Counted Only will only list the items that have been counted. Clear your filters by clicking the X at the bottom of the screen. And clicking the column header sorts your list in ascending and descending order. The current quantity column is the quantity on hand, not quantity available. The quantity on the item list is the total available for all of your locations. For example, on the count, the item cabinet pulls has 74 on hand. The item list shows 70 available. On the item info screen, you will see the difference. To understand how the on hand, available, and these other quantities are tracked, go to the menu Help, Contents tab, Using All Orders, Working with Quantities and Values, and Understanding Quantities in All Orders. When you have completed the count, click Activities, then Finalize, which will create an adjustment for all the items having a quantity difference. Click the Adjustment link to the adjustment. Send your adjustment to QuickBooks.